tutorial just for a second. Just make sure I get this lined up. It's better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Hello! <laughs> it worked! We it were worked. doing a countdown. Never mind eight. the glitch. Never mind the glitches. Um, I, well, the, if I get one of them out of the way, first and foremost, then we're grand. We're grand, we're grand. that much of a glitch. It was fine. we got to make sure everything's ready for you guys. Um, yeah. we, let's say hello. Let's say why we're here. Let's do that first. We just start talking and presuming that people know what's going yes. on. Yes. We don't even. Um, hello. Hang on. This is an exciting one. Just let me do this one. Let me do this one. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. When I click this button, exciting things happen. <laughs> In case you wonder which is which. Glitch, glitch. <laughs> right, so my name is Lisa. This my is the name Beautiful is Joy. Joy. Uh, we are coming to you from This Is News in widescreen. Hooray! We are. We've tested this and tested this and tested this. And so I am about 50-50 confident that it might actually work today. <laughs> um, <laughs> So if you've been with us before, uh, we do uh, TIK live broadcasts. We've been doing them for several years now since Corona times. We'll move on um, oh, over on Instagram. Um, mm. But having uh, during the summertime, we tend to do a little bit more planning and investigating and researching. And we looked into doing it on YouTube and it just makes so, so, so much sense to be here it does. It does. in this format. Yes. So thank you for, for jumping on over from Instagram, following us here. I've got to say, you got to like us, you got to subscribe to us, you got to get click the notify bell, all that stuff. I'll get used yeah. to saying that. Um, because we will be coming to you with a whole season, roughly every two weeks. Um, uh, for an hour of Yarny Chat, yep. we will be bringing back your question time, asking us for colour combinations, all that sort of stuff. Showing um, you all the new things. Showing you showing you lots of nice things. Some um, old things too that are still very good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Yes, there's some like perennial favourites. We'll yes. put it that way, yes. There's some um, of them. So uh, there's, yeah, lots of, <laughs> the one is you've been winning lately. Stop. The old ones, the old Stop. ones. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Okay, I was just talking about taking her jet setting around the world and stuff. She's a lot of fun to be around. She's like, she's about three in spirit, I think. Oh. Yeah. Um, moving on. Moving on. You are right. very, very welcome. I can see people joining us from Finland, from Toronto, uh, from all over the world, from down the road. And it's fantastic to see you if you are watching back. I think I have it set up right that you're able to see the comments on the watch back, oh, which would also be good. amazing. Yes. Um, but what we can do here, um, and I'll, I'll move on to the next one, um, is we can... No, oh, not that one! <laughs> <laughs> Glitch number Paul, two. Glitch number two. Okay. Um, what uh, what we can do is we can bring up comments onto the screen as well yeah. to show you what we're talking about. And again, for the people watching back to make sure that everything is, uh, said, yeah, nicely, nicely readable and followable yes. um, as we go. Um, so let's say, for example, you're going to get uh, featured. Hey. There we go. Hi, Deirdre. So that's Deirdre. And Deirdre is looking forward to visiting us at the end of the month. Um, your crochet meetup is the 30th of September. Great. We're looking forward to welcoming you in here yeah. into the beautiful shells of This Is Knit in Dublin. Um, looking looking good, I have to say. Lots of beautiful hand dyed yarns behind us. Do not things. rest. Do not rest. Um, and uh, yes, gosh, what am I saying next? I don't know. I it's, don't know. Okay. <laughs> It's been a while since we did this, so we're a bit, bit out of practice. But 
and and we were a bit nervous and a bit excited about making sure of this. So this is this yes. is why we're going pilot episodes, this, yes. okay? Yes. And we will have we will we will have and a more. We don't get cancelled up the first day. Don't get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> like your favorite show, you see a pilot, and oh my gosh, this is going to be great, and then it's not. And then it can't. No, no. It no, we'll still I, be I have here. producer rights on this one, yeah. so we're good. We're yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <gasps> it will be available for playback. That's that's definitely part of it. We have a whole summer worth of stuff to show you. Um, we have to ask. What is joint? Yeah, yeah. No, we're in the surprise now. Um, <laughs> what has particularly Joy been knitting lately? Because Joy know, can just, share stuff. I just with never us. stop. Let's just say that. And Not I, at all. Of course, I, <clears throat> anybody who follows me knows I made, I made an oops. I made a glitch with um, my yeah, holiday oops. knitting, but it turned out beautiful. It's really nice. And uh, will Where I show that? Would Absolutely. you like to see my yes. tessellated vest, which is? Sorry, I we had a moment. She was rushing off on holidays, and we were choosing yarn, um, kind of in a hurry, <laughs> to make sure because the tessellated vest had just come out, the pattern, yeah. um, and uh, we just wanted to kind of put something together. Yeah, and we yeah. did, and, and we then grabbed, this and I went to Portugal, and it was only when I started I yeah. realized, oh, it's not, it's it's not like a midnesol or a yeah. um, a mohair. It's actually a sport weight. I think they used a kind of a cashmere kind of mix. Mm. But I liked the fabric. I don't know if you can see it really well. It's a slip stitch pattern. So there's three yarns. But I kept going because I was in Portugal and I really liked the look it's of it. very nice. So it actually turned out totally in proportion, but it's a small size where I made the medium. So it would work. If, but like I say, the colors are beautiful. It is gorgeous, and my granddaughter wants it. We so make some I, allowances not wasted. for sizing, definitely. Yeah. We put it underneath the camera so people can see yeah. more. And then yeah. you can stay in there. You know, just like I'll stay here. I'm going to play with all the things. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see if this works. So uh, there we go. Night nice joy. Now, so it's it's a slip stitch pattern. So basically, for every six rows you do, you're really only doing three because, and again, it's mosaic. So it's not scary because you can you you're only using one one yarn per row, and there are three there are three yarns in it, so it's a it's very clever. I love mosaic. It's fabulous because it's like looks like really complicated color work, but it's not. So I used Fonty, which is a four ply. I used uh, the unique spiral grain sport. Lovely. And then I used Midnesol, uh, but again it. Really should have been a sport weight, which would have allowed for for the sizing and the gauge. <laughs> and did I gauge? No, I didn't because I was going away. And well, what the hell? <laughs> we so, don't need tension. So that was that one. And <laughs> I, will I show the other one? Which well, is actually sure. the right side. While we're here, while we're here, revealing uh, beautiful yarns underneath that we will also be ready to show you shortly um but yeah the work in progress can go there as well so, so I put it here. Mm -hmm. okay so there's a little bit of a color theme even though <laughs> this is purple but it's the warp and weft uh, raglan by jesse maid m-a-e-d so you can see i Carmen of Yarn Story put it up in her newsletter. I'd already seen the pattern and been kind of attracted to it. So I've used Rios and the spiral grain um, worsted, worsted this time. Yes. Well, it's a light worsted. So I can't tell you, I wish this had squishability because it is so soft. Mm -hmm. So I've used, it's purple. It's not looking, it's funny, it's not a purpley purple. Yeah, it's an indigo-y purple. Yeah. yeah, the way so they, they influence each other, the colours. It's, it's a really interesting pattern, quirky. I think somebody in the comments put, it's a bit quirky. <laughs> but everything is there, it's just follow the pattern. So you're knitting it inside out, basically. So you can see really well here what I'm doing. It's knit one, knit one of one colour and knit one of the other colour you know, all the oh, way along. Okay. But, so that usually would be the right side. Yes. But it's not. This is the right side. So you get this kind of, oh. it's like the floats. It is. But it I is. think it really shows off this type of yarn so well. 
you know, because, because it's, you can really it's see bringing it. it to the forefront rather yeah. than it's very recessed yeah. back back here. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's, it just gives you a whole different kind of dimension, yeah. it, right? And then these are the raglans. Really nice. So it's, it's really yeah. nice, I have to say. Kind of a piped finish. What I'll do is I will bring up the screen share so people can see the original pattern. Yeah. Oh, we're getting so fancy, guys. Now, um, we're going to change over to here and bring you the original there here. There it is. So, the so warp and, re warp and weft. weft raglan. Wagon. That is hard to say. Yeah. I'm <laughs> yes. Um, by Jesse Mayed Designs. Um, and one of the fantastic features I was talking earlier on on Instagram about the bells and whistles of this. So never mind the fact that we can share uh, share the screen. Um, but I've also created um, a whole Ravelry bundle just to feature the patterns that we talk about uh, here on YouTube. And we'll make sure that that's linked down below um, after the broadcast as well. So there'll be a direct link to um, any of the designs that we spoke about. Um, so you'll be very uh quick and easy and able to access them um, when if you watch back. Uh, so that is just some of the beautiful, It's are you going to go full cropped like this? No, you know, no. cropped isn't good on me. <laughs> this, this just, but, you know, you can so, wear it with a nice long line shirt. But, but, like I that, really, but, I, but I love, again, it's top down, so yeah. I can try it on and decide. Yes, so. exactly. Top down is the way to yeah. go. Yeah. Um, so we're back. <laughs> um, it is nice, isn't it? Yeah, hang on. Yeah. Deirdre says, this is much fancier than the other <laughs> I am loving yes. this. I'm absolutely yes. loving no this. No freezing so. and no... No freezing. Can't hear you. <laughs> well, yeah, and no having to give people uh, vertigo when I change the camera around, kind of going, here, look at this. Yeah. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, eeny, meeny, miny. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, so that's what Joy has been doing lately. Um, I have been working on some samples and projects for more follow-alongs, so I can't yeah. really share those. I've also been sort of moving out of my house and moving back into my house, so that's been an issue. Um, and But I have, and I've shown this, talking about making oopsies. Um, this has been living in my, my project bag now for a little while. Um, and it's like, look what we can do as well. Look, we can step back and show whole projects. So it's a bit, it's a bit creased because it's been sort of bundled up in my project bag. Um, but it is the Color Block Shawl by Yastina Lorkeska. Yastina Lorkeska. Um, and uh, I am and almost, it's, almost, it's almost there. Just I just the have to pass is, it off. The yarn is really lovely. It's so really, really soft. soft. It is the Goya, Goya Singles, yeah. uh, Goya Marina Singles from... Uh, her yarn brand is Cecily Grove Yarns. Mm -hmm. um, so I am really looking forward to brightening up my winter when yeah. this is all cast off and done. Um, and this is minis. Minis, 20 gram minis. Um, and it's designed to make like the absolute most of them so you don't end up having uh, a ton of leftovers. Now I do have some and I'm thinking about like working the little rainbows into a yoke oh, on one of the boys' yeah, sweaters nice. or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and oh, <laughs> and Ankalais is working on this as well at the moment. Ah. Um, so it's, you know, it's really, really, it's super telly knitting. It's, yeah. it's lovely. You are supposed to, on these uh, interim... Uh, cream sections they're supposed to be reverse stockinette I didn't read the pattern so that mine are all just garter stitch so um but that don't works. do what we do do what we say <laughs> exactly exactly um so I will say sorry one thing I meant to say at the start is if you want to uh comment on the YouTube broadcast while it's live uh, you do have to be logged in uh to your Google account that's the only thing so just in case you're seeing comments coming up uh like the lovely Rosa here who says she loves a new feature so do we um uh yeah you just have to be uh in uh like you have a Gmail account then you have a Google account uh sign in onto YouTube and then you'll be able to chat away and within the chat section as well if you want to respond to somebody directly it's uh you do use the at symbol and their username okay. um so you can do a little bit of chat back and forth as, as well between yourselves uh well we're here for the almost an hour i have to say we have to finish up at about five to the hour um because oh this is the fun feature now this <laughs> i hope you're all right i hope you can cope with this uh the excitement uh you ready to pop it i'm ready Yarn tasting Yay. is back. Ta da! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I just love it. Look, it's going to keep playing. Ta da! <laughs> um, right. 
May 2022 is the last time we did this. Okay, it's talk about ago. May 2022. Wow. Look wow. at the old branding and everything on that little yeah. video. Yeah. Uh, so a lot has happened since then. A lot, a lot. New, new shop, new branding, new yeah. everything, right? But we are coming back, coming back with the iron tasting. Yeah, because we've been, our focus has been on other things. Um, this time, all right. If you, I don't know, give us a hands up in the comments if you've done yarn tasting before, or you know what it is, or a question mark yeah. if you're like, what on earth? Um, am I talking about? So hands up if you've done it before um, or a wave um, and just question mark, question mark if you're not sure. Um, ah, fantastic. Oh, people are fine to get out to comment. I get to see more comments coming in because people have logged in. Um, hello, Jennifer in Canada. Hi. Uh, so virtual yarn tasting is what it is. I yeah. know that uh, you know, various yarn shops, and we certainly used to do it here as well before for several years. Yeah. Every September, we'd mm -hmm. have a yarn tasting here. Yeah. Um, and we, uh, but we switched over to a virtual method uh, during, during the times that mm -hmm. shall not be mentioned. Um, and then we just find it really, it works really well. It's it like, it's a lovely kind of collaborative yeah. communal experience, even though it is online, but you know, there's lots we can do as you can see. Um, so this time we like to theme them, don't we? We do. Yes. The last one was luxury. Luxury was last time. Yeah. Um, and this had loads of question marks. <laughs> you did it in May. <laughs> hey, lovely. Uh, Valerie's done them all. Aww, oh, yay. Valerie. Okay, we'll get you a ticket. Um, so this time around, um, it, the theme is yarns that make a difference. Okay, um, and yeah. so it'd be in different ways in which they make a difference, whether it's environmental or social, um, it is, there's this, you know, production, sourcing, mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. Um, so, but every single, uh, the six sample yarns that go into those little, little tubes, hang on, uh, in packaging similar to this. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we post them out to you. Oh God, we're so easily entertained. Um, we post that out to you together with that lovely little booklet um, where you can keep your record of your impressions yeah. of the yarn. Um, you can attach little strands uh, into the booklet so that you've got uh, the record. They're all different colors. In Each of the samples is a different color, so it's yeah. easy to just to, to know, know which, which one is which. which. <laughs> um, and a little space for your swatches, everything like that. So we yeah. go through all that on the night. Um, but you, you order your, you buy your ticket words words you get your ticket to the event we ship you out that lovely little pack you keep it you don't open it do nay open the packet keep it um i know some of you cheat <laughs> looking at you um i don't and, know i don't know i don't know if I, i'm terrible I would you peek i think i might i think she might peek yeah mm, might as well but i know lots of you didn't yes. and you we open it live Show you the yarn. Goes yarn number one. Samples of what's knit in it. In fact, that little booklet, it's like the, the page two, or you know, the first yeah. is like your yarn tasting menu. And then you, you run through that. Yeah. Um, so we get together as a team in the shop. We have finished projects to show you in those yarns. Yeah. Loads of ideas for what you can do with them. Yeah. Um, I've set myself a challenge for, we did, we've done three virtual yarn tastings so far. Mm -hmm. And on each one, I've, created some project yes. out of just what you just get in those tubes yeah. um and so i'll be challenged with that again especially when they're all the mixed different weights and I everything know. I know. um but i'm up first um and so we give you an example of that thing that you can make at the end or you can just incorporate them into your other projects as well um because you know we don't want waste there's there's no. whole bundles no, 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 no. um of pattern suggestions and ideas as well for what you can do with the mini samples so mm -hmm. um I'm just going to check the, the the comments here as well, just in case. Uh, it's a great team. Thank you. Um, is it knitting based or can you crochet? Absolutely, you can crochet. And we definitely yeah. Um, yeah. bring in crochet pattern suggestions as well uh, for the, all of those yarns, for sure. Um, and sounds interesting. It is. Carol, have you not? I'm, hang on. I'm going to pick on Carol now. Have you not done a yarn tasting before? She has so. She's she been has. saying in the comments. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, no, the theme probably. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And then, do, do, do. I would be... Ashling would be like me. She might be. She'd be a peeker. Okay, Ashling, I'm going to I'm gonna show, share your shame. 
<laughs> Ashling would also peek well, you, at the box. You know when people give you birthday presents, they're not going to see you and they give them and say, don't open them, our Christmas present. Don't open yeah. them till the day. Shika, shika, shika. I open them. <laughs> okay, now anybody knows, if you're ever going to give her a present, just gotta, like <laughs> yeah. what, show and you don't want me to morning. open it, don't give it to me till you want me to open it. <laughs> fair enough so, fair enough so. Uh, so... <laughs> That is what it's all about. Um, this is the tickets are going to go on sale um, at seven pm, which is why we need to finish up at five to the hour, ah. so that I can make them live on the website, a little slightly mm-hmm. manually. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you can, yeah, with, it's on the twelfth of October, or twelfth or fourteenth of October. Um, it's the the Thursday in October. That's either the twelfth or the fourteenth. Um, yeah. I need to bring back my notes. <laughs> Ashton will tell you. Yes. Um, and then, uh, and the reason why we put the tickets on sale at this point is because we do have to ship those packages out to you. And we ship them um, all the way around the world. We've we had do. people from Australia Everywhere. and everybody joining in. If you can't make it on the night, you do get a playback recording um, of the whole the whole shebang. Yeah. And people have like commented specifically that they've, joined that way and st- and really enjoyed it even though yeah. they weren't part of the whole live thing as well so yeah. um <laughs> sorry oh dear Do, Drew, really I, <laughs> right so right so again nobody I like your style nobody give Deirdre anything <laughs> no surprises no surprises um oh. <laughs> carol went to get, oh God. <laughs> you're being you're being shamed now oh so did i carol <laughs> <laughs> Now we're moving on. Now we're moving on. So uh, any questions you have about uh, the yarn tasting experience, October 12th is a Thursday. Thank you so much. So it is. It's going to be October 12th. They're going to begin shipping mid next week. Um, We'll obviously prioritize. Um, My favorite thing. Yeah, you can't come in on Monday, though. No. Mm, Okay. Um, And it's all right. And a big shout out to my nephew, Jamie. Um, who did a huge amount of winding, a lovely little summer job for him as well. And to Jenny, who, of course, who, who helped about along the way. So uh, thank you, Jamie, for that. Um, that's made made everything possible. Um, so, yes, shipping, shipping early next week. We'll do the international orders first and then the local ones will go after that and then keep them. Or if you, in fact, if you're a peaker, do you know what you do? Order your ticket, leave a comment in that saying, don't ship until the week before. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, no. if, if you're local, come, don't do that. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, Actually, okay. I don't like that. No. Okay. Forget it. Can I? Ah, it's live. Can't erase it. <laughs> Can't erase it. Can't. <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic! Dear. Fantastic! And Carol's coming on a knitting tour. Yeah. Uh, so oh, oh she's coming here. Oh, she's Carol. Um, yes, we are really close to Trinity. We are just around the corner. Um, only we are. yeah, in in heavy pedestrian traffic about. Uh, seven minutes or seven something minutes. Yeah, yeah yeah it just depends on how many you might get distracted with the shops along the way <laughs> there's some nice things some nice things um april okay how much yarn is included so depending on the uh thickness the weight of the yarn um they tend to be between either five grams and ten grams of yarn yeah. per sample yeah um because yeah five grams of a, a lace a lace weight or a fine yarn is it's a lot more yeah it's a lot more knitting yeah I don't know and, why i needed to do that but whatever <laughs> um and we yeah because we're doing this live together i mean like we'll let you know what needle size range ahead of time yeah. or, or hook size range to have yeah. ready um, and then like there'll be a certain amount of time dedicated to each one. I guess the thing is you don't have to keep up with the actual, like you can decide to join in on every second one and then watch back yeah. so that you're not under pressure speed wise. Um, but uh, yeah, it does mean that uh, you, you, you don't have too much to, to, to kind of keep keep an eye on or to keep up as you go. I know. Um, so that's it. There's some, yeah, some nice samples being made and different things like that happening. So again, uh, I will, we will shoot off at five to seven and make everything live on the website. And then if you want to join us, uh, the packs, the tickets, all of the, oh, you get spot, uh, 
to spot prizes, prizes on the night. Spot prizes. There's a discount on the yarns afterwards, so yeah. the ones that you like the best and want to plan your projects around. Um, then you get a special discount code as well. So there's lots of lovely like added added bits to the whole experience too. Uh, so and they your participation in it is thirty nine ninety five if you're in Ireland and there's tax on it, unless if you're or, or if you're in, in the EU. And if you're outside of the EU, then you get tax-free tax shopping. Taken so, off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, did let me see. Could one theoretically <laughs> pick up the package? Could you pick up the package on the 30th of September? Yes. Select, click, and collect. Yes. When you put your order in, no problem at all. Yeah. No problem. Um, so that's cool. And what's the theme of the yarn tasting? The theme, Thea, is uh, yarns that make a difference. Yarns that make a difference. So, but there's loads more information over on the website and I'll make sure, um, we will put a link in the description below. I need to think about how things work on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Do you want to, will we show some stuff that's been around the shop? Yes. New this yes. Summer? Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Let's have a look okay. at, uh, just make sure there's no one else. Yep. Okay. Well, let's have a look at some of the Shirley Bryan yarns. Oh, All let's right. come back in. Okay. And like I was telling the girls, Ooh. I was dreaming. I was dreaming about these things last yeah. night. And I don't even knit socks that much at all. You, Look don't, at you don't have colors. to make socks. Okay. I know. But. Shirley Ryan yarns. Talk, talk to us about this effect. It's, it's a, what is it called? Deconstructed. 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 I can't speak. Deconstructed fade. So you can see how it works. The way... It goes from, and of course, because you have two skeins, they both work the same way. Yeah. So you could make, actually, I, and I think I've seen some people do it the opposite way. One sock one way and the other sock the other way, which I think yeah, is Yeah, cool. that's quite nifty, isn't it? But her colour names, some of them are so funny. You'd buy them just for the colour <laughs> names. <laughs> I, um, I have been guilty of this. Okay, I know, so I know. this is Tesseract. Let's see, we'll find one of the good ones now. Um, Vendée. Vendée. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And I, I was saying to people, I think they'd be fantastic with a manis at the bottom oh, of a yes. manis as yeah, well. Wood, so actually. if you didn't, because it's four ply yarn. Yeah. Ready player. Ready player. And I believe that's a sock set. Holly Jolly Pajama Party. party. I love that I one. I do really like that. There's a few more there. Um, and then. It's just 81. 81. Just, Hang on, now we're, we're big enough the names. I know, <laughs> let me go get them some more. Um, so these are the deconstructed fades. There were two types, two bases um, that we have from Shirley Bryan. Um, the dyer, her name is, she's from Canada and her name is actually Becky. Um, so the Shirley Bryan part, I think it's her grandmother or grandparents' names um, is where that's coming. So from. Um, and then she also does, just while Joy's looking for a few other uh, examples for you, um, these sock sets. So these are, to tell you, they're, the deconstructed sets are two 50 gram skeins, okay? So matching, and it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and 230 yards by two per skein. So loads, plenty, plenty, plenty for socks. Um, do you want to do show those? some then, funny ones. Okay, go. Okay. So this lovely... I was trying to see it through the phone. <laughs> okay, so look at these lovely colours. But look at the name. Here's to us. Long may they sneer. I just love that. <laughs> then we have this lovely kind of purpley one. Oh, well, that's new. Earth tones. And it's Emily in Paris. Ah, uh, yeah. She does a lot of things inspired by um, different shows. Then we have this one, which is kind of greens and purples and I don't know, like... More into like kind of minty. Yeah. yeah. So this one's called I Put Pants On for This. <laughs> <laughs> so and there's another one about aquariums and it just it's I just love the names. They are fantastic. They really yeah. are. And lovely. some of them I get the references for and some of them I don't. <laughs> but um I know yeah, if you know it, so here's to us long may they sneer. That's definitely from a television program. And if anybody knows what it is, will you shout it out to us? Because, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's bothering me. It was bothering me. Um, and, okay. And then I was going to say, there's um, a second type of set that we have uh, from Shirley Bryan. And these are just called the sock sets. So deconstructed fades are the 250 gram skeins. 
and then the sock sets are a 20 gram and a 50 gram. 20 gram, 50 gram. Um, and the idea is that you can then use this contrast color for your toes, your heels, your cuffs, and you should still have enough between the 50 gram, that you will have enough between the 50 gram and 20 for an, a regular pair of socks. For, really? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, you often yeah. end up with leftovers yeah, and true. Um, true. in um, your 100 gram skeins, mm -hmm. you know? So that's why mm -hmm. people do the sock blankets and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Um, this, I do know the reference. Pivot, that's Friends. Oh, it is, isn't okay. it? That's from Friends. Ah, the sneer one is from Game, Game of, Thrones. of Thrones. That's it, sorry. I watched Again. every episode of Game Here's of Thrones. I'm not even aware one. of that. There you go. Um, and then there's these lovely pretties as well. We'll just throw them in um, on this one. Aslan. I, I, I think that's probably from a television show rather than the, the Irish band. <laughs> um, and <laughs> Keep the Secrets Keep the secret. is this one here. And don't, oh yeah, this is one. I'm going to have to walk away with this tonight. If it's sold out now, by the time you go, it's because I took them all. Um, <laughs> don't procrastinate, delegate to your future I love self. It. That, yeah, kind of sums up my attitude some of the time. Yeah. Um, and I really, really like the colors as well. So. I know. So there you go. So the, the really nice. key info, Superwash Merino and Nylon. The 50 grams has got 230 yards in it. The 20 grams has got 90 yards. And as we showed from the color block set, you really can get an awful lot out of a 20 gram scheme. You really can. You know? It's amazing. Sorry. You know when I just won't let it go that it's like <laughs> coming with She's me. She's in love. Coming with me. Uh, Keep the Secrets is definitely Hobbit themed is what we're saying there. And uh, oh, Aslan is Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, that's right. And one of the best scenes, pivot. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, I will stop dropping comments now. Okay. Um, Chronicles Narnia and, yeah, Aslan is the line from the prom, line which in the wardrobe, that's right, I remember Aslan. Oh, I do, I do. Um, it all makes sense now. Okay, I'm going to have a little bit of water. You're going to have to come up with, oh, you can show that while I have some water. This? Yeah. Oh. Now, you know, we were all very excited about Eru and, you know, when it came out. Um, so they did a new colour and it's absolutely stunning. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh. so good. Just look at that. Is that not just really gorgeous? So what have they called it? Bluebell. I absolutely love it. It's it's kind of. I to put it with the shoes back. So. Yeah. It's not imagine color work now with those two. I think that, that's pretty true on the screen there. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We throw like it underneath not, as well. Yeah. It's yeah. not a flat color. It's 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 got depth. Depth. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Depth. <laughs> There we go. Oh, look at that. Now, lined up with its with its friends yeah. and its pals. Yeah. Um, so this, when we were had our live chat with Zoe and Lionel, they were teasing this lovely indigo shade that was coming. Oh. And an awful lot of you were saying, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Wow. It is not just um, the website just yet. So this is a little preview for you guys. Um, these two skeins were sent to us as samples and there are more coming uh, out to us very, 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 good, very, good, very, good, good, very, good. very soon. Um, so I just, yeah, no. And, and it, what it does is it opens up so many possibilities for like lovely color contrasts work. and color, color work, work. Um, in that. And I'm Stripes. sure Ariel are just going, going from strength to strength. And I'm oh, sure that we will really see are, more colors they? soon. Yeah. It's not marled as such. No, it's, 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 yeah. it's very hard to explain. Yeah. It's like the shading in it. I think it's that the the two different fibers, because although it's 100% Irish wool, yeah. it's that blend of uh, Romney, Romney Lamb's wool and Blueface Leicester. Yeah. And I think that it's, it's that they're just the taking the dye the slightly differently. Slightly differently. Slightly differently. But it really so, is lovely. Um, it does look like denim, yeah, doesn't it? Right, yeah, that's right, Yeah. So, it's but, got that kind of denim indigo we look it does it does so absolutely beautiful oh, beautiful with sea song together. oh joy liking blue <laughs> what's There's happened the to the world what has happened <laughs> <laughs> um so uh there you go it's just showing them in contrast with all of the others yeah. so 
loads and loads of lovely options there. Um, it does. It looks like denim almost. You're right. You're yes. Right. Um, and well, on YouTube. Okay. Um, so Deirdre, you were asking a great question there about the yarn tasting. So just going back to that. Um, will the yarn taste event be on YouTube or through something like Zoom? Um, in previous editions, we have done Zoom. Zoom. Um, it's still a possibility, but I think as we're getting used to this uh, lovely software, you should see my screen with so many options and things on it. Um, we might run it this way, but through um, a private link. So it would be obviously be only the people who have okay. signed up and bought their tickets would be able to attend, but then you'd also have the access to uh, the playback anytime you wanted. And certainly from a editing and management process that, that's probably going to easier. be a lot easier for us yeah so um that's currently to be confirmed um but if you like this give us the feedback let us know um and i'm i'm 70 that we do it uh this way on a private link at the moment so yeah i make this i make these decisions in real time while doing youtube <laughs> okay that's why she's the boss oh uh, sure well didn't we do the whole clap of tea knit along just because like of the live chats and we yeah. were kind of it yeah. came up as an idea one day I and know. then yeah uh, so <laughs> listen you you <coughs> keep telling me what you guys want and we'll see what we could what can happen mm. I'm very hyper today I will calm down I promise um, she just loves her little thing I do I like a bit of tech I do, techie. I do. you're a techie um and the discounts on the yarn, I'm not too sure what you're referring to there, Carol. Um, will there be discounts? There yes, will. there will. Yeah, like, so. like the other ones, there yeah. will be. So For a period of time. Exactly. So it's generally about four days afterwards yeah. that there'll be a, an exclusive discount for everybody who's taking yeah. part. Exclusive. Um, exclusive. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, so you can pick it up. It, I mean, it's a good time of year to be obviously planning your projects ahead. Um, and then you can decide what you yeah. want to work with and get your sweater quantities and all that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, the YouTube tech is affected. It's, it's like She's very adrenaline. Excited it is okay oh what else were we supposed to talk about today mm. oh yeah okay <laughs> Ready. so we got in um a new dk mm -hmm. it's called it's here we go mary it's marino. from kremke the mary marino like yes. the mary wives of windsor or something <laughs> <laughs> but it is it's a lovely oh it's really is a lovely soft yarn mm. so dk and it's um, let me find the yardage gosh okay can't find it but anyway very squishy it's lovely sorry what were you looking for I can... the yardage oh yeah it's see it's the mary marina 140 oh, it's, 140 it's right there on the label on the sorry label. no it's fine yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, why it's called 140, it's got but 140 jackie has made a lovely little dress for her granddaughter and it is absolutely gorgeous so look at that sweet. i'll stop back so you can see it so we did have one of these before in a different yarn. So it's called the Wildflower Tunic and it's on Ravelry. So this one is size two to three and it has three balls. It took three balls. So look how pretty that is. It's really sweet, isn't it? Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? What I did, just if anybody else is considering making this because we had, Jackie had made one in green Remember in the yeah so so the Mary Merino actually is a yarn that's replacing um, Bebe Soft Wash, um, so uh, and it because of a a new um, superwash method, um, which we'll go into at a later point, um, but so it's it's like the it's the new the new version okay so the yeah. Mary Merino one forty if you've been using Bebe Soft Wash before this is the one to go for yeah. okay um, lots of I'm looking at the colors down oh, here below you they look so there cool. are so many they lovely so colors really nice um so yeah it's a really comprehensive range it's lovely and soft it's beautiful to work with so there was another version of this sample in the shop before <laughs> we renovated and it got completely lost in Malay and we haven't been able to find it since. It no idea where it went okay Poor jackie had to make another one so she went, but then the yarn was changed <laughs> true <laughs> so. it benefits us it does now in the pattern so the wildflower uh let's go under here i'm just throwing yarn everywhere right so can i put those over there with you um just to explain because we like to give a few tips and tricks as we go um so i will turn this around so i can sort of talk to you at the same time um so uh, there is this lovely uh, detail at the neckline. Obviously, if you're working uh, 
come here. Oh, the thing's tied onto a... Sh okay, hang on. If you are making things for tiny babies, you need stuff that's obviously going to go over their, uh, their neck um, nice and easily. And yeah, things like this. There we go. Are very important. Okay, so this is left open. You sew on buttons. And in the pattern, they tell you to the designer, whose name is something I will share, oops, in a moment. Um, I have it on this, the screen, so it'll come up. Um, but they uh, suggest that you make a crochet chain with loops for, feet, for filling in the buttons. And when we did it on the other sample, it was like a little thin, a little insubstantial. Okay. And um, I guess you could kind of add extra rows of it. Um, but instead what I did was I did an applied eye cord. So this is the point where mum just gives them to me. And it's like, <laughs> I have an idea. And she was like, well, okay, work away. Um, so uh, I picked up some stitches from this edge here, applied eye cord for just like two or three rows. Then you just do eye cord by itself. That it is- To make the button To hole. make the button Brilliant. hole. That's a Kate Davies trick from many, many ah, moons ago. She did okay. a workshop with us here. Um, it was the steak sandwich thing and that's how ah. she did the buttons. Um, and then, so don't apply your eye cord, apply your eye cord for a bit. Don't apply your eye cord. That's very clever. And then, and it just gives a really nice, solid finish. Solid edge. There we go. And of course, the little pussy cat and buttons. the little cat buttons are also very popular. So, but it's lovely. You can see the texture of um, yeah. the stitches there, and just how squishable and soft that is as well. So, um, there's there's a trip, a little trick. Uh, are there any new no. lace weight yarns no. in? Ivy lace we haven't talked about. It came in new over the uh, ivy. The well, bluff. We did talk about it. Well, have we? we? We haven't had a live about it. Oh, well, maybe not. Hold on. <laughs> while while Joy is finding yarn, hang on. Um, do do do. I'm just going to check for some other questions too. Um, we might have. The life in the long grass book looks inviting. Yes, there's some beautiful things here. Okay. So, so this is the alpa alpaca fluff for those of you who don't like mohair or are allergic to it or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's it is forty two percent baby alpaca, thirty five percent silk, thirteen percent fine merino, and then there's that little bit of yak, ten percent yak, which is kind of it puts a bit of grey into it. So the colours come up differently. They do. They're a little bit more muted. Like this is the. Neon. I love the neon. <laughs> so this is arcade. Look at that. Just oh, love it. It's, it's a really gorgeous one. Oops, a daisy. Did I do that? No, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I, I am actively producing okay. in the background. <laughs> so there we go. This one is peach margarine. Now, peach marguerite. And on the others, is it like really, really, really bright. Oh, so bright. Whereas here, it's so much more muted. Then we have Eha. Which basically is still Eha, that didn't really change that much. Oh, just to show you Peach Marguerite on Abbey Lace, the mohair. I mean, look at the difference, it's amazing. So I've just brought a couple of the colours over. So we have Shimmer, which is one of Jenny's lovely colours. Then we have Mixed Tape, which is part of kind of the neon range. Whoops, I'm pulling it all over. So there you go. So we're waiting on a delivery. Jenny, we're waiting on a delivery <laughs> um, of some more of the neons. They're absolutely gorgeous, but it's a lovely, lovely yarn. You, I have nip with it. I'm waiting for these neons to come in, but you have. I and have. I, uh, I used it for um, a lovely cropped top, a lovely little, um, yes, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, it'll come back to me and I will share that with you. Um, but it just, uh, I used it doubled actually on um, a lovely little top and I will definitely come back to you on it, but it's really, really nice to work with. It's yeah. lovely and soft and fluffy. Um, and we're, we're big, big fans of that. Um, so that's the latest lace and it is 24, no, 25, 95 a skein. Um, but when I can get the details at the top, I only needed two skeins. Even when I held a double, they was little short sleeves. There's 400 meters on each one of these. 400 meters per skein. So there we go. Um, so you know, it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I really do Ooh. like it. And yeah. it's it's the blend of, not only does it not have mohair, which a lot of people be very sen um, sensitive to, but it's baby alpaca, silk, merino, and yak. So like, I mean, 
all the best fibers <laughs> like in one skein. So and um, that's super, super like funny. I say that touch of yak mm. has a whole different thing yes. with the color. Yes, really nice. Absolutely, and you really would. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the green, turquoise, and magenta would be fun in a project together. Yeah, I'm loving the like the bright. It's funny because oh, yeah. the yak tones it down, but the neons like yeah, it just does. Some, there's some alchemy happening where yeah. you've got that like the richer background and, yeah. and with the bright neon, something something very fun. I'm happens. dying to do Hohi's. Oh, I've forgotten my name. Or it's color. It's color work. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes, that's that's on my list. We can bring it up on Ravelry now and I'm share it with list. people. And share it with people. So yeah. the yarn is called Ivy Lace. So, but it's um, as in the Ivy Gardens. So I V E A G H. Yeah, Ivy. I can't actively type on here. Ah, here. What I can do is I can bring Ashling's comment up. There we go. Ivy Lace. So that's it there. These features are brilliant. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to stop going on about them in a minute. Instant crush. Thank you, Trees. There you yep. go. That's the okay. one. Uh, we have a few. There's Trees and Fiona. Instant crush is yep. the name That's of the, the pattern. That's the whole pattern with yep. color work. So you, you would have to use it doubled. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm dying to try that. What's the what's, uh, needle size? Do we know? Mm, Do you know? know? We can go find out. Do you want to come there with us while we find out? Yeah. Uh, okay, hold on till we go find out. So I need to do screen share and here we are. So we can go into there and we can go instant crush. Oh, Teresa's is making it with Manastrale. Oh, oh. Teresa, I want to see that. <laughs> so there it is. Then. In my favorites already. So okay. lace and lace is double netting and you are working, oh, sorry, it's a bit of a jump a there. four and a three. Four, that'd be lovely because I think the project I made was like six and a half or six ah, millimeter needles. Okay. So, I mean, it was okay. a lighter summery top, yeah. all right. So, yeah. um, but that there is, uh, if you hold ivy lace doubled, you can make yeah. this very, 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 very pretty nice. pattern um, from Hohi. Oh, mm -hmm. you could have a lot of fun. A I lot know. of fun with that. I know. Now, I did promise um, that we would share some of the pattern names as well um, uh, that we've been going on about. Hang on, need to move something out of the way. Um, and then we'll share this link down in um, the description after this. Okay, so anybody who was looking for the details of the patterns that we shared today you'll find it in this Ravelry bundle there's the wildflower tunic warp and weft, weft. oh you can't say that warp and, warp and weft, weft raglan um, and uh, just some of the suggestions for, for Eru as well and this was Manus which I think oh, when Manus. we go back to the Shirley Bryan yarns next time. we should let's match Right, people remind us we need to match. Um, but this, it's a lovely combination oh, of. Uh, I made two. Mm -hmm. They're so quick and easy as they well, are. you know. Um, but if you had some of the the deconstructed fade, yep, with a lovely paired mohair, or you actually wouldn't even need to pair it with a mohair. You could nearly do the top. I think so. Didn't you do one without with that no. wasn't fluff? Oh, no. I must have seen it as a no. different I made, project. I made with floodlight without fluff. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Think, thinking of different things. Um, so that is where you're going to find all of that fun stuff. Yep. Um, let's just check for comments. Okay. No. With, oh, Manastrale. Yeah. Ah, very good. So Teresa is knitting an that. instant crush mm -hmm. with Manastrale. So, um, yeah. What colors? Tell us. Tell mm -hmm. us. Um, Okay, I don't know where we're doing it next. What are we doing next? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm going to remind you about yarn tasting. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to go over and uh, bring up the details here um, so that you can see. This is, whoops, is what's on the website right now. Um, you can't click buy just yet, but this is the yarns that make a difference um, listing and... You can find out more about how yarn tasting works, what's involved, um, what you what you're going to expect on the evening, um, and at seven pm we'll have that live for you to take a look at too. So that leaves us with a bit of time. If anybody wants to ask any other questions, throwing it out in the mix. Hang on, hang on. I'm wearing Ooh, my floodlight. About three minutes. 
uh, flood. Oh, yeah, I think I definitely put because I saw you wearing it. Floodlight is in the Ravelry bundle as well. Lovely. Look, talk. I love a bit of eye cord. We need to do like a feature on eye cords, shouldn't we? All the different fun uses for them. So I used Lino, yeah. BC Garn Lino, and Midnasol. I don't know, you can't really see the stripes so well with the way the light is. So they're just kind of hinted, but it's a lovely pattern. And you did, and then you did one without the fluff as well. Then I you? went, I used the Saranda, and that's nice too. It is, it is Saranda actually. Uh, I'm going to show one or two of those because it's um, not trip up with yeah. But this is a really, I find this kind of a yoke is just so flattering, I think, to anybody. Just kind of a round yoke. And we'll try it up here. This is Rosaria Saranda. Um, more and more, I'm kind of, I feel like a lot of yarns aren't even necessarily seasonal. So this is like, no. a, it's a yarn that came out spring, summer. But when you're doing things like mixing linens and linen blends yeah. with mohairs and holding yarns together and, mm -hmm. you know, there's just layering things. Um, yeah. So although it is a summer yarn, it is year round. Um, and it is a linen, cotton, viscose and polyester blend. And there are some, actually, some you, lovely colors. Yeah, the, the tutorial that I was trying to record about fixing the sleeve on Jackie's t-shirt. Oh. That, yeah, that, that fabric, if you were on Instagram and looking at it, that that's the uh, one of the other colors of this. So absolutely gorgeous, really, really nice. Um, and let me see, Thea is hoping to see us at the New York Sheep and Wool Festival. Yes, well, me, poor Joy. This is this is the problem, we were talking about you couldn't go. Um, next year maybe um but myself jackie and jenny will be there um and we'll be going it's around a family the affair it is we, my dad is coming as well hey, real family affair carry some boxes drive us around <laughs> do all of that <laughs> um hi dad love you um and it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah, oh, get, to see, yeah. get to see my pals who live over that way as well which is great um and unfortunately now we won't be going to the doolin yarn festival because they are just so close together so we are going to be exhibiting at woolen folk um and then the week is so the woolen folk is uh thursday evening and friday in my mm -hmm. um and then <coughs> excuse me then we'll just be attending the Rhinebeck, the main festival at the fairgrounds. So basically, we'll see you around there, hopefully. A lot of fun. Loads of fun. We should do a meetup. We should arrange a specific meetup. You should. I regretted not doing that last year. So we're going to do that this year. Remind me, you people. Should, you should just message out. I'm going yeah. to be standing under the... They were, what's the, on the know, hill, the apple on tree. the hill, right? <laughs> That's where people go. I'm not quite sure I even know where the hill is. I know. Okay, we'll fix that this year. Um, so we'll be there. And unfortunately then, um, just the festival that um, Deirdre was asking about is the... What's the name of it again? Um, mm, there's a one-day festival happening in, in Doolin, Doolin in October. And it's beautiful run by... Beautiful part of our Really nice. Beautiful part. Um, Let's Knit. That's it. Isn't it? Yes. I think so. Uh, run by Shunnock Yarns and uh, Grace O'Neill Babbles Travelling Yarns. So if you probably... You probably know her from around the internets as well. Um, so they have a one-day festival happening. So be sure to check that out if you're in the area. Um, your floodlight is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Patricia. And our own Michelle will be at that. Um, oh, she's yeah, She's a designer. Michelle. Yes. She's a designer. So thread softly designs. It, is it thread? Thread softly. Thread, yes. Thread, not thread. thread. Okay. Thread. Uh, I'm not sticking my tongue out, I promise. <laughs> Does my dad knit? No, he doesn't. He hasn't. We must get him to it. You should try. Yeah. Um, for sure. Um, I have had Ronan. He made, yeah. we, we did several years ago, um, many moons ago, the electric picnic. We taught people how to knit uh, electric picnic. Yes, yes, so yes. So he, he had to take part in that. Did, did, did he learn to knit at school? Yeah, he would. Have. Yeah, my boys yeah. learned to yeah. knit at school. My dad probably did as I well now, I think. Anymore, so, yeah. yes, a meetup with great lots of people looking for that. Yes, and Let's Knit Festival. Thank you for everybody who coming with that. Um, and uh, a book. Oh, God. Okay, Yarn you guys are talking Day. to each other about that. Yarn so, I'm going to this. So, um, so, it's the 29th of October for the festival in Dublin. So, um, Patricia, do pop up to Rhinebeck to see us. Um, I think that's probably us on time. Countdown. Countdown. So, how did it go, folks? Do we think that we did okay? I like this. Oh, yeah, I
Yeah. It, it seems more relaxed. I don't know. Or maybe it's just such yeah. a long time since we did one, I've forgotten. <laughs> oh, I think that's just sort of... Do you know what? There's always that bit of tension where we were like, can you hear Is us? Is it going to work? Do we change the thing? Will that be okay? Yeah. That sort of stuff. So this is, yeah, this seems to touch wood, Ben. <laughs> Very <laughs> relatively smooth. Relatively. We're going to go with that. Thank you so much for joining us for Thank the you. first, not the first, the pilot episode. Episode number one is coming in two weeks. We will be doing our usual thing of popping up um, stickers on uh, Instagram to see if you want to ask us questions ahead of time yeah. so we can prepare so get things. Your, get your questions ready. Definitely. Let us know. Um, and then we can add that into the mix. Sure, why not? Um, and uh, we will see you then in two weeks' time. So thank you so much. I'm going to off to enable the yarn tasting tickets. Um, pop on over to the website after this. And hopefully you can join us for that whole experience too. Okay. See you soon. Thank you. Oh, I have to do the sign out. Where's the outro? There we go. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Not yet.